buzzle and finally the slew of phones coming out that makes the Note 2 feel more regular is upon us. The HTC One, however, is not one of them. It packs a 4.7 inch display. It is large, but it's no larger than the HTC One X of last year. The Note 2 does pack a 5.55 inch display. And bottom micro drill holes and a beautiful tapered edge giving it a side um, a girth of about four millimeters or thereabouts all in all i think it's uh, 8.9 millimeters but the sides it's just four millimeters skinny as far as the rest of the design elements go on the left side you've just got a micro sim slot while on the right the speaker while up top is a power button which is also doubling up as an infrared port. This thing is a TV remote control. Sweet! You've also got a 3.5mm headphone jack, 4 megapixel camera around the back, but don't let that number throw you. It packs something called Ultra Pixels, which we'll come on to later. The Samsung Galaxy Note is much, much more like a Galaxy S3 in terms of its fundamental design. You've got sensors up top and down below you've got that central home button. Either side, you have a two capacitor buttons, one for back, one for menu. Sorry, we didn't mention you've got a capacitor buttons at the base of the HTC One, back and home. On the left side of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, you've got volume rocker. On the right, you've got a power button. Down below is that gorgeous S Pen and a micro USB port. Up at the top, 3.5mm headphone jack, a megapixel camera with flash round the back. Removable back cover for expandable storage. The HTC One, as we said, is a unibody with 32GB of onboard storage and 24GB of Dropbox storage. As far as the screens go, 720p on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, 1080p on the HTC One. And it really does look strikingly different either side, when they're side by side. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 isn't a dull screen and it doesn't look by any means unsharp, but alongside the HTC One, whites are noticeably less pure and it is definitely, definitely more pixelated despite being a Super AMOLED Plus. The um, screen technology on the HTC One is SLD, S, um, SLCD3, sorry. In terms of user interface, the HTC One packs Android 4.1 as does the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. HTC have customized this, believe it or not, more heavily than Samsung even have. Um, or at least they've changed core fundamental elements. They have touch with, but that doesn't actually force any aggregators upon you. Blink feed does. It's a rich conglomeration of some key sources which we can see including these here and you can add more you can pull in information from facebook and twitter and it just gives you a nice amount of content to just view glance and then get on with your life htc say it's perfect for when you're in a queue waiting for a bus or just want to pick up your phone have a flick and then put it back down on the left side of that you've got a standard screen which has just normal android so you can even add more screens and add widgets and shortcuts to your heart's content. Samsung go in a way more traditional way. Folders as we know, um, but as we said, 3D transitions um, and no aggregators embedded on the screen. The application drawer on the HTC One is also a little bit different. There's a sticky clock for starters, or at least it always stays up top. There's also the option to change your grid size to three by four or four by three. Um, you can view your applications in a range of ways and altogether it's really nice and customizable without being overwhelming. It just feeds you a little bit. Small as it might look in my hands. As far as uh, the cameras go, you've got an 8 megapixel sensor on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and it's an ad ad admirably performing sensor. But the HTC One S actually excels a different imaging technology, suggesting you should reduce the actual pixel um, sensor size, sorry, and increase the pixel size. It packs just four pixels in total. 
Those four pixels work very hard though, capturing 300% more light than the average mobile camera sensor. That's because they are ultra pixels, physically larger and able to get more information. This com is complemented beautifully by a shooting mode called HTC Zoe. HTC Zoe captures both the video and 20 stills. That video is 3.6 seconds long and will enable you to grab a rich, rich amount of content. The HTC One doesn't do nothing with these videos. It throws them all into something called an HTC Zoe Highlight. If we jump into the gallery, there may be one of these on here. So here is the Zoe Highlight. 3.6, is it? Or is that a video? I believe it may be a Zoe highlight or it's just a video. But that's 3.6 seconds of video coupled with um, a 20 images. And you can flick through those images. You can create special effects. Um, if we jump out, there should be one preloaded on here. Let's have a look-see for you. Yeah, check that out. So with a Zoe, you can actually erase elements and multiply elements from an image. So in a single video Zoe, we were able to, um, or HTC, were able to create this very, very, very cool special effect. So with that level of creativity in your phone, we're really, really looking forward to getting our hands on the HTC One for real. The Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro Pro uh, S4 processor is the 600 variant and clocked at 1.7 gigahertz in the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It's a 1.6 gigahertz um, Samsung Exynos 4 processor. How they benchmark, you'll have. One has that full HD display to power along. It's still not um, is going to falter when contrasted against last generation's processors, such as that found in the Note 2. All in all, though, we're really, really impressed with both phones. The Note 2 has an 3300 milliamp battery, and that's probably going to be what edges it ahead in terms of users' hearts and minds. HTC One, however, is much more. Um, generally consumable device. It fits much better in the hand. The battery life's 2300 milliamps, so still perfectly respectable. Um, but all in all, it's a charming, beautiful aluminium device available in black and white, as you can see. So that's been our comparison of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the HTC uh, One. If you have any questions, please feel free to file them in the comment section below. 